Shakesters. I hope your day is going well. Today's video is going to be all about coats, specifically the top five coats that you need in your wardrobe. And of course, of course, I'm also sharing some outfit ideas. So this first time you're seeing my face. Hi, my name is Chi Chi and this is my channel. I am the blogger behind SuppleChic.com and SuppleChic TV here on YouTube where we cover fashion, lifestyle, and beauty. So if that sounds like something you're into, then please consider subscribing down below. We'd absolutely love to have you. So the first coat style that everyone needs in their wardrobe is definitely going to be a trench slash wrap coat. Trench coats are a classic, but the wrap coat has been in style now for a couple of years. And why they continue to be a staple in my wardrobe is because they're just so flattering. The fact that it comes with a built-in belt that you can cinch around the waist really, really helps to create um, a nice hourglass silhouette. Now, one of my favorite wrap slash trench coats is this one that I picked up from H&M years and years ago. I actually saved the bag that it came in because it was part of like a special collection um, that was released around fashion week and I got this coat in 2016. I was a little peeved because I had to pay like over $200 for it and I thought I was going to use, you know that sneaky 15% discount that H&M be given if you give them your email. They're like, no sis, this is a special collection. You can't use it. And I was like, really? <laughs> But anyways, I invested in that coat and I definitely feel like I've got my cost per wear for that coat. Anytime I put that coat on, I get compliments. So many people ask me about it. And the best part about that coat is that you can literally wear it with a trash bag and it looks instantly chic. Um, I decided to pair it here more on the casual side with a striped um, long sleeve t-shirt a red beanie and black bottoms as you guys can see this is a very simple look but you know with the addition of the coat it totally just elevates it and makes it a little bit more chic so of course my coat I got it in 2016 is no longer available but several places do make um these wrap slash trench style coats from Zara to Eloquii to ASOS at least the last check um, I believe ASOS had something similar last year. Um, so I will link some picks and some options for you down below. This is a coat that I think is worth the investment. It's not a trend um, and it will definitely pay you back dividends if you invest in it. Now it's the festive season so the next coat I want to talk about is going to be the fur coat. I mean it doesn't have to be festive really to wear a fur coat. I really want a long line fur coat but the one I'm showing you here is more on the shorter side. I recently just picked this up from One State. I absolutely love this one because as you guys can see it's just a simple style. It has um, lapels like so and then it clips right here which means you can wear it dressed up or you can wear it dressed down. Also, this thing feels buttery soft. And they actually have a lot of delicious colors. They have a nude pink color. I think they have a navy color. I know in the non plus side, they also have a mustard color. I think a colored fur coat can also be fun and a little bit un unexpected. I stuck with black <laughs> because it's perfect for the holiday season. You can also, just like the wrap trench, you can also kind of dress this up and dress this down. I like kind of throwing on formal coats, kind of like casual pieces like a jogger set, leggings. They just help to like kind of elevate that everyday look. So the third coat style that like it's, it's almost no secret is going to be the moto style jacket. If you do not have a moto style jacket, oh my gosh, what? Stop, pause this video and click the description box open and get yourself a moto jacket. Everyone needs a moto jacket. Um, you can go vintage. I scored this gorgeous cropped biker. I've had it in my closet for so long. I think I'm gonna put it on Poshmark just because I was hoping like I would lose weight to fit in it. But sis, I've had it for like four years and I haven't. But that's and the reason why I didn't wanna let it go though because it was such a score. Anyway, I digress. The point is you need a moto jacket. If you're on a budget, definitely check out your local thrift stores. Definitely check out like Etsy and online and eBay where they sell 
sell pieces like this online. But you can always go everywhere makes them. Eloquii makes moto jackets in like every color you can think of. They have baby pink, bright pink, yellow, green, red, you name it, they got, they've got it. I particularly like the ones that have the additional belt around the bottom. Now, I like it and I hate it at the same time because it can be really clunky and annoying, <laughs> but I like the look of it. It just makes it seem a little bit more like true to style, if that makes any sense. I really, really want an All Saints biker. First of all, I don't know if they even make it in plus. Or maybe I might have to shop like the men's section or something, but I love All Saints. Their jackets are like over $500. But till then, um, there's so many places where you can find it. ASOS has some mod cloth. The one I currently have has from mod cloth. I just sold the one I had from Michael Kors just because it was too big for me. So there are a lot of places you can find them. I will put a bunch of options based on price point for you guys down below. Now, as you guys can see, I did not go for a traditional black moto jacket for this look. I went for something a little bit colored. The color for this coat really, really caught my eye. It's just a, a beautiful kind of like cool tone um, blush pink. This one I love because I knew I could pair it in the winter with like colors like burgundy and red. And then in the spring, I could pair it with my whites and my neutrals. And I could, I could still flip flop. I can pair it with my burgundies if I want in the spring. But anyways, millennial pink is a very versatile color. It almost serves like a neutral. So if you're looking for another color to invest in besides black, I would recommend this as well. If you already have a great black moto jacket, then think of investing some color. I have a mustard one. I have this pink one. I had a blue one, which I sold in my last closet sale. So I have a brown one. Anyway, the point is it's such a versatile piece that you can totally invest in a couple of colors. So look at your wardrobe and see like what you wear more often. If you're like a girly girl, maybe this baby pink color would be on more on your wavelength. If you're a little bit more edgy, maybe a mustard color. I decided to pair this pink one with a fun dress. You guys know I love juxtaposition and playing with pretty things and tough things and kind of mixing them all together. And so here I am wearing it with this pretty floral dress that I picked up from Target last year. And I also paired it with over the knee boots. This is perfect. This is the perfect look to wear for like Thanksgiving. This is a great look to wear to church. Anyways, let me know your thoughts on how I style this. Would you wear these two things together? A tough moto jacket with a frilly and girly dress? Moving on, so far we've talked about the, the trench slash wrap coat, we've talked about the fur coat. So we are at the home stretch. We got two more to go. So the next coat that everybody needs in their wardrobe is gonna be the puffer coat. Um, I feel like, oh, <laughs> I almost feel like I am redundant because I'm pretty sure that I showed you guys the same puffer coat last year. I don't feel the need to update things if you know, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Anyways, this is my puffer coat. It's from H&M. So H&M can be quite controversial as a brand, but they do make good outerwear. I'll of course link other alternative stores for you guys down below. Um, again, this one I think I got like two years ago, maybe. It's a puffer jacket. I decided to go for a green instead of like the typical black. One of the reasons why I love to invest in outerwear is because it's the first thing people see in the winter months. So it's almost like a calling card for you, right? Um, you could go with basic black or you could add a little bit of color if you want to, you know, add a little bit of spice or punch to a look. I tend to wear a lot of black around the fall and winter months. So going for some color with my outerwear works for me. Um, this is a green color. So it almost, it's like a khaki, dark, not dark, but forest type green color. So it almost serves as a neutral as well. I can pair this with my blues, my blacks, um, all of my neutral colors, my tans and camels and so on and so forth. So that is why this caught my eye. Also, I really like the fact that it had like this asymmetrical situation going on around the neck. It also has a hood, but not in the traditional way. And as you guys can see, I paired it with 
all black. <laughs> I told you black is my power color in the winter, okay? Um, I went for a black turtleneck with this black uh, leather midi skirt and then I also paired it with some black boots. You know, when typically when you see an outfit like this, like a midi skirt and a turtleneck, you probably gravitate towards wearing it with something a little bit, a coat that's a little bit more formal, a little bit more structured. So I liked how I liked the juxtaposition between wearing something that's a little bit more tailored with something that's a little bit more I don't want to say casual but not tailored so the last must-have coat for fall and winter 2019 will definitely be the teddy coat I'm not sure when the teddy coat came out I think it's been around for about two seasons or so it blew up. I think it was Max Mara that came out with that like camel colored teddy coat that took over street style. And ever since then, everybody has been rocking the teddy coat. I picked up, I really wanted that brown camel -y color, but I think it was sold out when I picked this one up. So I decided, and I didn't want black. <laughs> um, so I picked up this white teddy coat and I got this one last winter from Misguided. They have teddy coats this year and Misguided is a great place to shop at around Black Friday. They have really great sales, okay, around the Black Friday side. And their quality is like not bad. Like it's better than Pretty Little Thing quality. It's almost around H&M level quality, but they're selling to you at Boohoo and Pretty Little Thing prices around um, Black Friday or around, you know, the upcoming major holiday shopping season. Definitely check it out. I would use maybe Shop Tagger or something to tag the coats that you're looking for and get notifications when they have a sale or drop the price. Um, if you do though, if you do decide to shop my picks or maybe you're not ready to shop now because you're waiting for the sales please do me the biggest favor and when you're ready to shop come back and use my links or bookmark my links because one of the ways that i keep all of this going is through the commissions that i make through the links that i put down below if you click my links i make a couple of cents it adds up and it really helps but yeah i picked up this teddy coat from misguided this isn't in a us 18 so i would say it's pretty true to size it has buttons and whatnot going down and i decided to style this with an all you know neutral slash camel slash beige outfit i think white in the winter time can make such a statement it's just like dark and dreary and everybody typically wears black so i like that juxtaposition also like pairing like more I don't want to call this coat formal per se because it is it has like a formalish cut but the teddy kind of makes it a little bit more casual but I like pairing something like that with uh, casual pieces and this entire fit would be perfect if you're traveling for the holidays you're going somewhere you know going to visit families it's a perfect airport look so let me know in the comments below if there's a jacket or coat that you would include in the top must-have coats for fall and winter 2019. I have a lot of fun giveaways planned for the holiday season. Um, there's going to be giveaways here on YouTube. There's going to be giveaways on Instagram, on my blog. Make sure you're reading my blog and you're subscribed to our newsletter so you get that tea first. I also will be vlogging this holiday season. I'm super excited for that. So stay tuned for those vlogs and Every single vlog will have a giveaway. If you're not subscribed and you like this video, go ahead and subscribe now. And once you subscribe, and those of you who are subscribed, make sure you hit that notification button. I'm so late to the notification button, gang, but definitely um, give yourself a pat on the back if you're a part of the notification gang. Um, if you like this video, share it with a friend. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and share. Until next time, stay blessed.